What's up, Valley Creek students? We are in a series called Holy Spirit. We invite you in where we are talking all about who the Holy Spirit is. And this weekend, we talked about 10 things. Everyone say 10. 10 things that every person needs to know about the Holy Spirit. And so pull out your journal and write these things down as we talk about them because it's really important. It's important because the Holy Spirit is God active in your life today. We have so many wrong ideas about Him. Like, you know, the Father is the angry one, Jesus is the nice one, the Holy Spirit's the weird one. But if the Holy Spirit is God, active in your life today, then it's worth taking the time to look at who He is so we can respond accordingly. Are you ready? Okay, number one, the Holy Spirit is a person. Everyone say person. The Holy Spirit is not a force. He's not in it. He's a person. Just like Jesus is a person, the Holy Spirit is a person. You can talk to him, ignore him, interact with him because he's not like God's errand runner. He's not just like the will of God. He himself is a person. Number two, the Holy Spirit is God. Everyone say God. God has revealed himself to us through three distinct persons, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And the three members of the Trinity are equally God. So just like the Father is God and Jesus is God, the Holy Spirit is God. And so the same things we believe and the same reverence we have for God, it's the same thing with the Holy Spirit. Number three, the Holy Spirit is powerful, all-knowing, and everywhere. Everyone say everywhere. AKA, if the Holy Spirit is God, then He does everything God can do. He can do anything at any time. He knows all about everything and He is in every fiber of creation. And so no matter where you go, the Holy Spirit is there. Number four, the Holy Spirit is just like Jesus. Everyone say Jesus. Well, Jesus was on earth. He said, if you've seen me, you've seen the Father. Before Jesus went to the cross, he said, I will send you another of the same kind who will be with you forever, the Holy Spirit. So anything that is true of Jesus that you read about in the gospels is the same of the Holy Spirit. Number five, the Holy Spirit dwells in every believer. Jesus said that it was for our good that he was gonna go away so that he could send the Holy Spirit. It's for our good because the Holy Spirit in you is better than Jesus in front of you. Because instead of competing with 8 billion people for a chance to talk to Jesus, you can talk to him at any time, anywhere, about anything. And the Holy Spirit lives in you. Number six, the Holy Spirit is our helper. Everyone say helper. All over scripture, the Holy Spirit is described as a helper to us. He helps us come to salvation. He helps us repent. He helps us forgive to understand the scriptures. The Greek word literally means one who comes alongside. And so literally as you walk throughout your life, the Holy Spirit comes alongside you to help you with whatever you're doing so you can be who you were created to be and do what you were created to do. Number seven, the Holy Spirit is our teacher and guide. Everyone say teacher. Everyone say guide. In scripture, we read that the Holy Spirit will teach us all things and that he will guide us into all truth. So if there's something you don't know, the Holy Spirit will teach you. If there's something that you don't know what the truth is, he will guide you into it, which means that if the Holy Spirit lives in you, you can never be stuck. You can never be too far gone. You can never be hopeless because he is always right alongside you, teaching you and guiding you. Number eight, the Holy Spirit speaks. The Holy Spirit is how you hear the voice of God. He lives inside of you. And so God doesn't speak to you from like way out here somewhere. He speaks to you here, maybe through a whisper, an impression, a feeling. He speaks when scripture jumps off the page at you. He speaks when you feel his presence in worship. He speaks even through like your conscience. He is how you have a relationship with God. Number nine, the Holy Spirit is a unifier. Everyone say unifier. 
The flesh divides, the spirit unites, exclamation point. The spirit will never lead you to gossip, to slander, to tear down, to isolate, to be and stay offended because that's division. The Holy Spirit, what he does is that he unifies the body of Jesus, us, the church. And it says that it actually like grieves the Holy Spirit when we break the body of Jesus that was already broken for us on the cross. And so throughout your church life, you're going to have opportunities to be offended, to want to bail, to have an opinion, a preference. And what we have to remember is that while the flesh divides, the Spirit is always unifying people together. And lastly, number 10, the Holy Spirit empowers us for ministry. Everyone say empowered. The Holy Spirit has given you gifts, things that you can do well so you can go and be a blessing to the people around you. He has empowered you so you can go and be a witness to the world about who God is and what He has done. Okay, 10 things about the Holy Spirit. I know that was a lot. If you want more on all of those things, go back online, watch the weekend service because there was so much good stuff in there. But the summary statement of all of this is that the Holy Spirit wants a relationship with you and He deserves a place in our lives. And if you've put your faith in Jesus, all the benefits of the Holy Spirit are at your disposal. They're within your reach. And so let's be aware. And then let's just ask ourselves like, with, in light of all that, what am I gonna do about it? So let's turn to our tables and let's talk about it.